Time magazine has announced its list of the world's 100 greatest places to visit, and one of them was the South Korean city of Gyeongju. As it may be hard for a great many of you outside of Korea to go there at this time of the pandemic, our culture correspondent Kim Bo Kyung gives us all a guide instead. Historical gem and museum without walls. Once the capital of the ancient kingdom of Silla, the city of Gyeongju in Gyeongsangbuk-do province is full of well-preserved historical sites. This year, the UNESCO World Heritage Site has been chosen as one of the world's best places to visit by Time magazine, and these are the highlights from the open-air museum. The oldest astronomical observatory in Asia stands in the middle of Dongbu historic area, where lots of relics are still being excavated. Built during the 7th century, the observatory shows how scientifically advanced the Silla Kingdom was. On the slopes of Tuamsan Mountain lies the Puguksa Temple, designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1995. The name Puguksa means the land of Buddha, and all the relics and the architecture of these bridges attest to the flowering of Buddhist art and culture here. Only enlightened people can walk up and down the Yeonhwagyo and Chilbogyo bridges, while the Cheonggyo and Baegunggyo bridges connect its word with Buddha's word above. The Dabotap and Sokkotap pagodas in front of the main hall show the high quality of stonework during the Silla period. And the tourist spot that has been growing in popularity recently is Wojonggyu Bridge. Originally built in the year 760, the Wojonggyu Bridge was destroyed during the Joseon era, and only its pillars were left. From 2008, the bridge was completely rebuilt over the course of 10 years. In the daylight, visitors can see the Silla Kingdom's architecture and construction technologies, but the bridge is more famous for its dazzling night view. The illuminated Tancheong, the Korean traditional decorative coloring on wooden buildings, is reflected on the water, making it the perfect photo spot for visitors. Last but not least is the Donggung Palace and Wolji Pond. The pond and the palace were built on the order of King Munmu after he unified the three ancient kingdoms. The treasures of Gyeongju have been here for more than a thousand years. Hopefully, one day soon, they can again welcome global travelers. Kim Bo-kyung, Arirang News.